I'm Naturalist Marty. Come along in this virtual hike and see what was discovered by Cleveland during the City Nature Challenge 2018. What is it? A common green dragonfly. No, I mean, what is it? Like, what type of animal is this? Is it a, a bee? Dragonfly. Oh, it's a dragonfly. Is it an insect? Yeah. How do we know? It has six legs. And huh. a head and a thorax and a Oh, okay. And it's shaking. Let's go in. Can I Woo! Hold it? Why don't you touch its wing? Uh, I'll just hold it. Okay. Gentle. Nice. Okay, let's release it. Oh. Right on time for Mother's Day, these Canada geese are toting along five goslings. This is a polyester bee. It's been coming and going from its nesting hole. It's a solitary nesting bee. So it's not part of, part of a colony. It's not social. It's not gonna have a hive like a honeybee. Here's one of those holes. Actually caught in the act of digging a new hole. If you ever see a pile of raisinets in the woods, it's scat left behind by white-tailed deer. Lucky us, a white-tailed deer antler. So the male white-tailed deer grow these with a little bit of fur on them, nicknamed velvet. And then after they're used for fighting other males and, and attracting females, they're shed at the end of the year. At that point, all the velvet is gone, so they're shiny like this. And it's actually so unusual to find one of these in the wild because the forest rodents yum, 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 eat them up. Look at these azure bluets. <laughs> and they're blowing in the wind. Ohio's state tree, the Ohio buckeye. Take a look at these compound leaves. Every leaf should have five leaflets meeting at one point, which makes it a palmately compound leaf. Ohio Buckeye. Cleveland was able to document over 1,000 species. I'm Natural Smarty. Thanks for coming on this virtual hike. We'll see you on the next one. But in the meanwhile, be sure to get out there and make your own wildlife observations.